let's look at uh, anything uh, superfluous. Second Samuel 21, 20. Here, there was yet a battle in Gath where there was a man of great stature that had on every hand six fingers, six toes, 24 in number. And he was also born to the giant. So superfluous means extra body parts that are unnecessary. So how can we interpret what does that mean? We'll look at Deuteronomy 4.2. We're not to add to the word I command you and neither are you to diminish from it that you may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. So keeping the commandments, we're not to be adding to it. Just like Adam did. If you remember, Eve never heard the commandment. She wasn't even created yet. Adam heard it. Then he added, don't even touch it. And then when Eve touched it, she says, you'd be lying to me. Okay, now how do I know you're not lying about this other stuff? This is why we don't add to God's word. We don't subtract from God's word. Okay, so now let's look at a broken foot and a broken hand. Those are blemishes. Of course, you can be healed of those blemishes. But when the Bible talks about a broken hand and a broken foot, how does that apply to us from more of a spiritual point of view? Well, look at Isaiah 65, verse 1 and 2. A broken foot has to do with your walk, your ability to stand, okay? He says, I'm sought of those that never ask for me. I am found of those that never even look for me. And I said, behold me, behold me to a nation that was not even called by my name. I spread out my hands all day to a rebellious people, which walks in a way that's not good. And what is that? They walk after their own thoughts. Jeremiah 10, this is one of my favorite verses, verse 23. It says, O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who we've been walks to direct his steps. I believe every single one of us, when we're born, we're born with a broken compass. We have nowhere, we have no idea where we're going, okay? And we're born with a broken watch. We have no idea what time it is. You know, and, and so we have to know God's calendar. This is why we need to know what time it is, and we need to know how to read the compass and fix the compass because Torah is true north. It's not, can you imagine? Here we walk, but we can't even direct our own steps. 